Hey guys, Shimmer here, and today I'm bringing you a guide for Isabel, a new companion coming with the High Isle chapter of Elder Scrolls Online. I'm going to go over how to get the companion, how to level her combat level and rapport level, and share some builds for her so you can get the most out of this companion based on your preference and playstyle. As always, there will be time links in the About section and a pinned comment below, as well as clickable chapters, so if you want to skip over some parts, you can, but let's get to it. First, you will need to own the High Isle chapter in order to obtain Isabel as a companion. Companions are NPCs that will follow you as you adventure throughout Tamriel and fight by your side. They can be a tank, heal, or DPS, and you can use them to fill a dungeon group if you're one player short. There are some areas of the game where you cannot summon companions, such as PvP instances, single player arenas, and housing instances. To unlock Isabel, you will need to travel to Castle Navire, located here. And once you complete the quest Tournament of the Heart, she will join you as a companion and you can summon her via the collections menu. To level Isabel quickly, you will need to equip a set of training gear on your character, be in a group with one other person, preferably Ring of Mara to you, with XP scrolls or Ambrosia running. Companions only level through combat experience your character earns. They do not receive experience from quest or event completions. They only get it by killing mobs. So you'll want to find a good grind spot with lots of mobs such as Delves, Public Dungeons, or Skyreach, just to name a few. Pick a spot that you're comfortable in and grind away. Rapport level is basically whether the companion likes you or not. If you perform certain actions in game while your companion is active, that companion could like it and increase their rapport level, or dislike it and decrease their rapport level with you. As you increase your rapport levels, you will unlock quests and rewards. If you lose too much rapport, the companion can choose not to hang out with you anymore and can despawn themselves randomly or refuse to be summoned at all. Actions that Isabel approves of that will increase rapport are using a repair kit, talking to Lyris Titanborn, completing a Bognol Delve daily, killing a world boss, talking to an alliance leader, visiting an undaunted enclave, killing Daedra, killing a boss that is a Daedra, completing a volcanic vent, crafting a blacksmithing item, crafting sweet foods, and accepting a dual request. Things that Isabel disapproves of and you will lose rapport for are killing innocent NPCs, stealing from a container, stealing from a thieves trove, stealing from a corpse of an innocent NPC, entering the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, and entering an outlaw's refuge. Now those smaller actions only reward a small amount of rapport and have cooldowns of anywhere from 5 minutes to 24 hours depending on the action. The Balgrol Delve daily mission turn-ins and the High Isle World Boss dailies award 125 rapport each. You can complete 15 Balgrol Delve dailies per day by grouping with other people and sharing the quests, or by logging into an alt to pick up the Delve daily you haven't yet completed for the day and sharing it with your group. You can find Balgrol in the Undaunted Enclaves in Elden Root, Wayrest, and Mournhold. This will be the fastest way to level her rapport. Isabel's perk is Isabel's Grace, which gives you the chance after defeating a world boss to recover the pack of a slain knight. This pack may contain additional loot. Perks are buffs that your character receives that will be bestowed upon you when the companion is out and active. Completing the companion's quests and achievements can unlock their keepsake, which will give you the perk even when they are not active. Now let's take a look at some Isabel builds. Which build you choose will depend on your personal preference and playstyle. Isabel is a Templar type NPC that can fill the role of tank, heal, or DPS effectively. Companion gear works differently in that it only offers armor and a trait. It does not add to stamina, magicka, or health, nor does it have any set bonuses. So for magicka DPS to get the most DPS out of her, you'll want to put her in aggressive armor, which gives a bonus to damage done, or you can combine aggressive with some quickened pieces to reduce ability cooldowns. 
You'll want to put a lightning staff on her, but if you can't get a lightning staff right away, any Destro staff will do. For skills, a good layout would be Elemental Barricade, which is a strong AoE dot, Sunbrand, Penetrating Strikes, Divine Destruction, which is her Execute, Parallel, which generates extra ultimate, and Bane Slayer as ultimate. For stamina DPS with bow, you'll want aggressive armor or aggressive with a few pieces of quick quickened to reduce ability cooldowns. For skills, a good setup would be piercing arrow, trick shot, viper's bite, divine destruction, parallel, and bane slayer as ultimate. For stamina DPS with dual wield, you will want all aggressive or aggressive with some quickened. For skills, a good setup is swift assault, spinning steel, razor cape, divine destruction, parallel, and bane slayer as ultimate. For stamina DPS two-handed, you'll want all aggressive armor or aggressive with a few quickened for faster cooldowns. A good skill setup is Sunder, Staggering Swing, Sever, Penetrating Strikes, Parallel, and Bane Slayer as your ultimate. For heals, you'll want to equip your companion in Soothing Armor and Arresto Staff. A good skill setup would be Mystic Fortress, Rejuvenation, Blessed Sacrament, Beam of Reproach, Mending Incantation, and Bane Slayer as Ultimate. For tank, you'll want to equip Isabel in bolstered heavy armor and a sword and a shield. A good tank setup would be Provoke, which is a taunt, Bulwark, Ritual of Salvation, which reduces damage taken, On Guard, which is a damage shield, Penetrating Strikes, and Bane Slayer as ultimate. And that's it for now guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and sub if you enjoyed or if it helped you out any and click that bell icon to be notified when I have new videos go live. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you in Tamriel. Bye!